Hey everyone, this is the Beard Zeno, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the alien of uh, fuckity fuckity fucks. Hey everyone, this is the Beard Zeno, welcome to the very first installment of the new series that I'm going to be doing is the Alien Hive, which is you know anything and everything alien, video games, collectibles, and all that good stuff. This video will also be featured in our Collector's Corner series, and uh, yeah, as you can see here we have the Super 7 Retro Reaction alien figures and these things have a bit of a story and uh, let me set the camera down and I'll explain it to you and we'll, we'll start off uh, showing some of these close-ups and stuff. I'm not going to unbox them because they just look too damn good carded. I mean they're really cheap and I think I might buy another alien because the bubbles kind of messed up on it and that's the one I really want to open because it looks cool. <laughs> So I might buy another alien here in the future and open that one up. I'm not sure, but yeah, definitely these things look really good carded, so I'm not going to unbox them, you know, uncard them. I'm just going to leave them like that and hang them up there on my new shelf. As you can see, there's a grid alien in Hudson up there, and it's empty. I'm in the middle of moving some stuff, so yeah. So I get to look at some of these figures. If you don't know the story behind these, in the late 70s, Kenner actually made an entire line, it was a prototype line, of alien figures. Give me one second. Okay, there we go. And the, the big deal was, after their success with Star Wars, they wanted a new thing. You know, the next big thing, as you can see. This package is actually made out to be just like a classic Kenner's packaging, you know, collect all five. And it's, uh, where's the, set it in the camera, they manipulate teeth to attack, his evil brains glow in the dark, uh, that won't show up on camera, so, but as you see, this is Dallas, and actually, actually have a classic Move this closer. A classic uh, Kenner Star Wars figure in package, sort of. Let me show you the comparison here. Here's Boba Fett. Now I recarded this. The figure is original. The card is not. That is a reproduction card from Hasbro. As you can see on the back, this is when um, Episode Three was coming out. They reissued. Uh, just like the cards with new updated figures for certain select figures and I bought the Boba Fett one but then so we were at my uncle's house when I was little and they actually had a bunch of Star Wars figures all of them I sold off except for Boba Fett because Boba Fett's just so cool and, you know I recarded him and he looks he looks nice like that and he's, you know it's original that's the way they're loose you see these figures are like that but as you can see they pretty much copied the original Kenner package design and that's really really cool I like that that's definitely playing on you know nostalgia on, on the retro factor and that's really really nice but let me put the iPad back down yeah here's Boba Fett up close I'm not gonna take him out of the package or, or the little protector card that I have him in but that's really cool I need to get a protector card for these I don't know they're cheap so uh, these only run you about ten to fifteen dollars a pop, depending on where you get them at. But here is Dallas. Where's the lens? And Dallas is probably the one that's going to be least valuable because they had to make this one from scratch. The none of the prototypes for Dallas actually existed. And uh, oh, let me finish the story. Oh, sorry, the st the story for these figures. I told you about the Star Wars, right? Kenner made the Star Wars figures, and he's like, oh, we're looking for the next big space thing, because kids like space stuff, so we got to find something big that's space-wise so we can sell toys, 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 right? So the next big space thing that was coming up, specifically from 20th Century Fox, they just partnered with them, was Alien. And they just got some still photos from the set and everything, and they started building the figures around that, and then they actually saw the movie. And they realized, oh shit, we cannot sell these to kids. So they canceled the line. Very few of these figures were ever made. I think only one of each prototype was made. Maybe multiple of each prototype. I think two aliens exist. 
But there's less than 10 of these things in the world, you know, the original ones, because they never went into full production. It was just the prototypes. But Dallas, his prototypes were completely destroyed, lost the time, and they had to build this figure from the ground up in the classic style from reference photos of that prototype. And I think they did a pretty good job. It was on one of the, the DVD releases of Alien. They actually show the prototype figures. And from what I remember the Dallas one looking like, this is a pretty accurate representation of that. Definitely really cool if the camera would focus. But yeah, that's Dallas and all the figures have the same back, so I don't need to show you that. That's just uh, there. But yeah, you see it's the classic Kinder style packaging. And uh... Now we're going to move it to Bricks of Pace. Here's Ash. We all know he's the android from the film. Sorry for spoilers for Alien if you haven't seen it. but <laughs> And he comes with a... Um, the, the motion tracker of Dallas comes with... Sorry, backtracking. Dallas comes with a flamethrower, in case you didn't know. And... For some reason, Ash... They couldn't get the actor's face to be on the card. I guess licensing issues... Like, apparently Sigourney would pop, but he wouldn't. Which is strange for Sigourney, because she never pops for anything. <laughs> but, these... This specific figure is, uh... Really cool. You know, it, it, it just definitely evokes that feeling of... Android. And this one was de this one was molded directly from... The original prototype. And I think... I think the Kane one, which we'll get to, they actually bought the prototype for. Is the Kane or the Alien? Yeah, let's, uh... Next up is Ripley. I'm going in the order of importance here for me, like the figures that I think are the coolest. And here's Ripley. She comes with a flamethrower. And... Looks more like Bruce Lee than Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> That's, uh... It definitely looks like an Asian male, <laughs> and not a <laughs> white female Sigourney Weaver. That's a uh... yeah. The, this is the original figure, though. This is one. You know, this is the uh, the only one they had to re recreate was the Dallas one. The rest of them, these are all original. They just you know made it from the original molds. And that's really cool. I like that. <laughs> the thing is, these are history. You know, they, I own history now. It's just really cool to have the chance to own these collectibles, you know? Here's Kane. It's my, my personal favorite, just because it's, you know, it's different. He's in a space suit. And his his uh, bubble pack is a slightly bigger than the rest of them, as you can see. Because he's in a bigger space suit. And it actually has a picture of him looking into the egg there. And his helmet is removable, so that's his accessory. So that's going to... Sucky, but... And... There's the side of the card. And of course, they all, they all have pegs. I haven't been showing that, but... And yeah, that's that's really, really cool. And last but not least... The alien. And boy, oh boy, does this thing look cool. I mean, it's not very articulated, but it is detailed. This sucker is detailed. And... When you take him out of the package, you can take his uh, clear dome off and move the slider up to actually have his inner jaw come out. Shows it on the back there, but uh, that's uh, yeah, that's really really cool. I, I like these figures a lot, and uh, the one bad thing about this one, UPS they damaged my box. You can see it in the the, the package video that I got. The corner of this bubble is damaged and that really really sucks but you know what can you do I'm thinking about ordering another one of these because these are really cheap like these are 15 but you know they do sell the alien separately I'm thinking about buying another one and actually opening this one so that'd be pretty cool but uh let me uh, go back and get a good wide shot of all of these and there you have it all of them all, all lined up on my wall where they're gonna stay carded because they look really good like that. They display really, really good, and I just don't want to devalue them, you know, because that's history, you know? I like that. 
I, I like that a lot. I'm really happy with this purchase. I wish the sunlight would get out of Ash. Now it goes to Kane. Well, he dies first anyways. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think about these uh, figures. Uh, let me know if this is interest you in them or not. Um, yeah. I can give you a link to where you can buy them uh, super cheap if you want me to. And, uh... Yeah, this, uh, wow, I'm really happy with this. I got another video coming up, too. It's not as special as this, but it's totally special, and it's got a, a story behind it as well. But, um, yeah, that's going to be it for now. Beer Zeno out.